What's up YouTube? I'm Mike. Today I'm back with a very quick video. <laughs> uh, just because. Um, today we're talking about what body part is the number one predictor of penis length. This happens to be a subject that is very near and dear to my heart because for my entire life I have been picked on for one body part. Can you imagine what that part might be? Yes, I have a huge nose. Um, it's, I've been picked up, I've been not really picked on, but people pointed out regularly that I have a very large nose. And so it was interesting when I came across this study from May of 2023 uh, titled Penile Length and Circumference, Are They Related to Nose Size? Um, I will link this article in the description below. It's about this fucking long. Uh, basically what they did is they had, uh, they did an analysis with 1,000 160 patients whose nose and penis size were measured. These participants were selected from a subset of 1,531 patients who visited the Dr. Jamulju Urology Clinic between March and October of 2022. Patients' age was greater than 20 years and those who underwent surgery for the nose and penis were excluded. So no, no fake noses in the mix <laughs> or penises. Uh, nose size was determined by measuring the length and the width and the height of the nose which were used to calculate the volume of the triangular pyramid. Check out my triangular pyramid. <laughs> uh, the, uh, the participants height, weight, foot size and serum testosterone levels were measured. Testicular size was measured using, an, using ultrasonography. Predictors of penile length and circumference were assessed using linear rejection analysis. The participants' average age was 35.5 years. The mean uh, penile length was, uh, had it here, 4.4 inches. Um, damn. That's stretched penile length. So apparently, if you're trying to get an accurate measurement of your junk, you don't have to get into an erect state. <laughs> you can stretch it as far as it will stretch, and then you're probably going to need help, or at least I need help. <laughs> you're probably going to need somebody else to measure it for you, you know, while you have it all stretched out. And if you measure the full stretched length, this is supposed to be equivalent to its fully erect length. So the average excuse me, the mean stretched penis length was 4.4 inches and the mean penis circumference was 2.6 inches. Um, and so what they found in the conclusion was nose size was a significant predictor of penile size. The size of the penis and nose increased with a decrease in body mass index. So that's interesting. The patients with lower body mass indexes had larger penises. Um, so in their study, I, I would have liked to have known what the average nose triangle size was because as again, let me get you a good look at this honker I've got here. Um, I have a very large nose and I also have a very large penis. <laughs> Based on these numbers, my dick is over twice as big as the mean. So every time one of you guys watches one of my videos and you start noticing how large my nose looks, let that be a reminder to you of just how big another very important part of my anatomy is. And while I said that I wasn't going to talk about these kinds of things on my channel, I'm already fucking up. Um, and I'm going to admit something that my wife is probably going to be angry at me about. Um, but when you have a nose that's as large as mine, when you have a nose that is as big as some men are downstairs, it sort of creates a third appendage. And she has a whole lot of fun with my big ass nose. <laughs> So there you have it. Like I said, real short video. Ladies, if you're on the prowl in the nightclub and you notice some man with a very large nose, you might not count him out. 
might not be the most attractive thing from a physical perspective, a guy with a disproportionately large nose, but if you care about what he's packing, that might just be one real good way of finding out what he's got going on downstairs. If anybody would like to, uh, in the comment section, um, do some measurements of your own and list those along with nose sizes, we could, get, we could do our own little study here and uh, see what's going on. Um, that's up to you. As always, thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next one.